It don't really matter whether you're going to go out there and train your dog on foot or on horseback. You about do the same type of things. The only thing when you're walking is make sure you don't let that dog get in the habit of coming back to you. We done gone over that. But what I do when I'm walking, which I do very seldom, is when I see that dog heading back in, I do just like a horse when I'm on a horse. I just go out at a 45 and start blowing the whistle, and immediately I start teaching him. And I call it uh, training them to run on the whistle. When we get out of the puppy stage, whether he's out of puppy age-wise or just uh, out of it for our purpose, like I said, he's running big as we want, we need to start teaching him to handle. We need to start teaching him to be an adult. Uh, put a little manners on him, in other words. When we, when we do this, people say, oh, Lord, you start tightening up on that dog and he's only 11 months old or 10 months old. I put my hand up and I said, shh, don't let him hear you because he don't know how old he is. He runs as big as a three-year-old dog, so we're going to treat him that way. I'll put birds out on the edge while I'm rolling. I'll roll that old dog down that edge. I'll have two or three fines. Tomorrow I'll go back and roll him down that edge again. See, take him to different edges, put down birds. Every bird he finds, when you're back there on the edges, you want him to learn, learn to run edges. Every bird he finds, whether you're running him or rolling him, or to be on an edge. A lot of those judges back there, Thanks. The greatest thing you can do is have a dog that runs edges.